Hello friends, good morning. Today I will explain the application of Pastian's law. So let us recall in brief Pastian's law. This is the mathematical expression of the Pastian's law. It states that under uniform electric field for a particular gas or a particular electrode material, the breakdown voltage is unique function of product of pressure and gap spacing. If we plot product of pressure and gap spacing along x-axis and breakdown voltage along y-axis, we get this type of curve that is called as Pastian's curve. Here there are three unique points x, y and z. For a particular value of breakdown voltage, there will be two different values of P into T, one at x, one at y. At x, this P into D will be higher than P into D minimum, whereas at Y, P into D will be less than P into D minimum. And third point is Z, which shows minimum value of P into D and minimum value of the breakdown voltage. Now, for a particular gas, A, B and K are constants. Then, V, B minimum is obtained by this equation, B upon A e is exponential multiplied by k p into d minimum is e into k upon a and k is ln in bracket 1 plus 1 upon gamma so a b and i'm sorry it is not k it will be gamma so if values of a b and gamma are given then we can compute what will be the value of vb minimum and p into d minimum for a particular gas. So A, P and gamma, they depend on the nature of the gas. For air it will be different, for hydrogen it will be different, for carbon dioxide it will be different. Now let us take numerical. So first numerical is this one. Determine P into D minimum and minimum breakdown voltage for air or Pastian's law if value of A is 12, B is 365 and gamma is 0 0.02. This is for air. So we have equation, first we use this equation, K is ln in bracket 1 plus 1 by gamma. So gamma is given, it is 0 0.02. By substituting this value we get K is 3.9. Next is P into D minimum equation, E into K upon A value of E is 2.81 you can see the value of E from your calculator so E into K upon A substitute the value of exponential E K you have computed 3.9 value of A is given 12 so answer is 0 0.89 tor centimeter P is taken in tor and D is taken in centimeter so 0 0.89 tor centimeter next is computation of minimum breakdown voltage Equation is P upon A into E into K. P is 365. A is 12. E you can take from calculator. K is 3.9. So calculation gives the result. It is 322.45 volts. So if we are de designing a discharge tube or lamp in which air is acting as insulating medium, then in order to get the spark, we need P into D is 0.89 torr centimeter and voltage required is 322.45 volts. Next is, next, uh, next numerical, a glow discharge tube is to be designed such that the breakdown occurs at the pastures minimum voltage. Suggest suitable gap distance and pressure in glow discharge tube when the gas is gas in the tube is number one hydrogen number two air. So you must have seen the glow discharge tube. Glow discharge tube is constructed by using different gases. It may be hydrogen, carbon dioxide, sodium vapor, lime, and so on. Here the gap spacing is fixed. That is three mm means zero point three centimeter and characteristic for air and 
hydrogen is given that is the Pustian curve for air and hydrogen they are given along x axis it is spin to d in tor centimeter along y axis it is breakdown voltage if you consider air this is the characteristic minimum breakdown voltage is 450 volts and minimum p to d is 4, 4 tor centimeter so first we compute is for air from curve p to d minimum is 4 tor centimeter distance is fixed that is 3 mm that is 0 0.03 mm so we get the pressure of 13.3 tor now if you replace air by hydrogen this is the characteristic vb minimum is 300 volts and p into d minimum is 7.5 so hydrogen p into d minimum is 7.5 tor centimeter substitute value of d that is 0 0.3 so we get pressure of 25 tor and vb minimum is 300 volts now compare the result if we are filling air into the glow discharge tube then we require voltage of 450 volt and we require pressure of 13.3 tor if we replace this air by hydrogen we require pressure of 25 tor that is relatively higher and breakdown voltage of 300 volts which is relatively lower so it will be always prefer we always prefer relatively higher pressure so it is available with the hydrogen and we always prefer relatively low voltage so it is available with the hydrogen so hydrogen gas will be preferred over the air the reason is the required pressure is relatively higher and required voltage is relatively lower so that is the application of Pastian's law thank you